Well, the top side streets are a dangerous place So you better tune in to a credible face like this one Yeah, this one And you know we're not alone and they're coming in hot We got a lake so stand and a guy who really likes baseball What is going on, everybody? Welcome back. Happy Friday. We made it. It's February 9th. We're going to be diving into some fast break content here for today's action. Apologies to uh, those yesterday. Yesterday's schedule was a little nutso for me. I was running around uh, and wasn't able to get a video up. But if you are in the VIPs, you got that community post later in the afternoon with a breakdown of all the plays. Although yesterday was a plus minus night and it's a total crapshoot anyway. So, you know, who knows? We probably assumed, oh, the Bucks. that's a good play against Minnesota, right? And then Minnesota wins by 400 or whatever it was. So the plus minus one is always a stinker. Uh, but yeah, if you haven't signed up for the VIP yet, you go ahead in the in the show notes here. Go click that little linky link and have a good time with it. Just $3.99 a month gets you a bunch of content behind the paywall. Better projections, better information later in the day, all that stuff, all that stuff. Uh, tonight, it's going to be a quick, short and sweet one. Offensive rebounds, I feel like there's very easy spots to target tonight. So we get six games, six games. Uh, the Wizards are playing the Celtics. Uh, that's important to note because there's no more Daniel Gafford for the Wizards, who's over on the Mavericks now. You get the Hawks and the 76ers. Uh, this is usually a target I love to match up. Uh, a matchup I love to target. It's early in the morning um, because it's Atlanta. But there's no Embiid and Paul, the like, good luck. Good luck figuring out B-ball Paul Reed. Uh, you get the Rockets and the Raptors. Uh, the Rockets still without Fred Van Fleet. Uh, Amon Thompson, sneaky good rebounder. Something to pay attention to. <laughs> we got Hornets and the Bucks, which we do love a big against a Hornet, right? We have the Nuggets against the Kings, and then the Lakers are at home against the Pelly. So we're looking for a total of 12 offensive rebounds. Now, I actually don't I don't think this should be that bad. I feel like we should be able to do this. We should be able to crush this. Uh, we're going to go over an underdog, start our pickums over there. And again, if you're in the VIPs later today, we'll be using projections from Momentum Labs to like really break down the slate and find some solid plays here. So we're going to be sorting by rebounds. We're not going to start with Maxi, um, but we're going to try to find a couple that stand out. So Jalen Johnson here at nine and a half rebounds. Now, obviously, they don't have this sorted by offensive rebounds, but we'll be able to we'll be able to pinpoint it a little bit here. So I I actually don't hate uh, Jalen Johnson again. So what do we need to average? We need to average set four three three. What's three times five is fifteen. Two times five is ten. We need to average two and a half two and a half boards per person. Is that what we're looking for? Maybe even less than that. So I think with Jalen. I'm basically looking for anybody that's in double digit rebounding space, right? Anybody that's in the double digit rebounds, hopefully we can get a couple out of them, right? So Jalen Johnson, we can circle him at nine and a half. We can come back to him. Um, let's get to Onyeka and Kongu. He's at eight and a half boards. I feel like that should be higher. I feel like Onyeka should be higher. Um, I really like him. I think Okongwu, uh, especially because he's probably not somebody a lot of people are using. He's probably not somebody you need to use for another day. So I do think Okongwu is in play. And again, he's not going up against freaking Embiid. He's going up against Paul Reed, who Paul Reed's line is at nine and a half rebounds. So even though I besmirched the man, I do think Paul Reed is in play. But I think we can find some safer, better values here. Uh, you see Tatum at nine and a half. <clears throat> interesting again because Washington gets bodied. Um, I think I'd be a little bit more interested in the the zinger maybe, but actually I don't know. Tatum, let's we'll put a pin on Tatum. But I wanted to see, do we have any? Okay, Marvin Bagley doesn't have a line. 
guys, it's Marvin Bagley time. So no Gafford, right? Gafford's playing 30 minutes. I think Bagley was already playing like 20, 25 off the bench anyways. We've seen what he can do. Uh, it's like a fantasy point per minute guy. Um, and he's just going to he's gonna be the guy that rebounds. So he should be able to just like walk into a few. And he's not banging against any bigs for Boston, right? Boston, you know, Tatum will rebound, uh, Horford, Porzingis. But like, I, I don't know. I think Marvin Bagley might be like my sneaky favorite play tonight. Uh, you see Scotty Barnes here down at seven rebounds. Not no thank you. Shingun. Shingun's a great call for tonight. Shingun is feisty on the boards. He's his over under is set at 10. I think you can fire up Alpi if you need to. Uh, in that same game, I think you could get down to Yaka Pertle, who's his line is at nine and a half rebounds. I think you can mess around with that too. Again, because as great of a matchup it is, uh, because of how talented Shingun is for, for him. Um Chingun's really not that stout defender, you know. So I do think you can get a little Yakabertel in here. And again, that that's getting you off. So it's getting you off. Good lord, let's relax. Too early in the morning for that, am I right? But that's getting you to a play that probably you're not like, oh man, I can't believe I'm wasting Yaka Pertle tonight. Uh Amon Thompson, who I mentioned earlier, seven and a half rebounds. More I'm talking about it, it's probably too thin for tonight. I don't think you need to do it. Jabari Smith Jr., sure, eight rebounds. Don't think you need to do it. If you got Giannis available. Lock and load. His over-under is set at 12 rebounds. He is going to just, like, walk into three or four offensive rebounds. Uh, and he's one of these plays tonight. Like, we talk about how um, we've done this with Rudy before or with Sabonis before, like, on that rebounds assist night. If you can, like, get a guy that's probably projected to get you, like, four offensive rebounds, now all of a sudden it provides – a little bit more of a floor for your team as a whole because you have somebody that has a ceiling like that. I think Giannis is somebody you probably want to try to jam into your lineups if you can. Um, we're not, I'm not nobody in Charlotte. I mean, Nick Richards at nine rebounds. Ah, you know what? We could probably throw Nick Richards on the short list here at nine nine boards, but it's not my favorite. Not my favorite, only because I'm like, man, is he going to get some Giannis coverage and is he going to be in foul trouble? But let's circle him. All right, Nicole Jokic, 12 and a half boards, baby. I know they're on a back-to-back -back unless we get any news later in the day that he's got a late questionable tag. Um, I imagine Jokic is like a stellar play, you know, and especially going up against Sabonis, who, and Sabonis will talk about too, he's also going to be a really good play. Uh, Jokic and Sabonis probably 1A and 1B tonight. Uh, yeah, Sabonis here at 13 rebounds. So, those are the two best plays, Sabonis and Jokic, if you can do it. If you can start your squad with Sabonis, Jokic, and um, uh, Giannis, and then throw in like Marvin Bagley and then one of the other guys that we've talked about, like Okongwu, Paul Reed, um, uh, Jalen Johnson, I think that like that like that's a pretty sharp and somewhat unique build, I think. Um, and the last game of the night, you see Brandon Ingram's at five and a half boards, nine and a half boards from CJ. I think we have questionable tags on Zion, on um, Jonas Valanciunas, who got dinged up in the last game. And then the Lakers haven't been announced yet because um, they're not. They all played last night, and we never know if they're going to play two games in a row. But if they do play two games in a row, Anthony Davis is a smash. So you want to start this with, I, I again, I think like Gian, if you can get in there with Giannis, Sabonis, and Jokic, and then, honestly, listen, you know what you can do? You want to get a little freaky deaky on him? You put Anthony Davis in. And then if he gets ruled out, switch to Jackson Hayes. Jackson Hayes, first of all, has just been straight up outplaying uh, Christian Wood in the backup big minutes. But let me give you, this is with Anthony Davis playing last night uh, in the game against the Nuggets, which ended up, I recommend going back and watching the fourth quarter. It's pretty fun. Uh, Nuggets win this game 114-106. So Jackson Hayes, uh, the the starting the starting five was Max Christie, who got hurt. Uh, Reeves, LeBron, Rui, Anthony Davis. There was no d -low. Jackson Hayes played 17 minutes. Uh, 17 minutes, he had five offensive rebounds in 17 minutes. So I think if you, you can plug in this, God, this, I should have saved this for behind the paywall. This is good shit right here. I think you use that late swap function tonight, right? They got the last game of the night, plug in Anthony Davis as your fourth or fifth guy. And then if he, he gets ruled out, you just pivot to Jackson Hayes because like, again, you're not going to, you're, you can't bank on him getting five offensive rebounds per 17 minutes. But I mean, if he, if he gets, if he rolls out like 30 minutes, all you need is two, right? or two or three. So, uh, I, I think that's a really sharp play. So again, I think under the rate, uh, under the radar stuff is playing. Cause I don't think people are going to want to play Anthony Davis either because if he's got a questionable tag, people go, oh, he's, AD, he's brittle. He's not going to play. If he plays, you have Anthony Davis. If he doesn't, you have Anthony Davis light and Jackson Hayes try to get, I would say, try to get 
all three if you can. Giannis, Sabonis, Jokic. If not, two, two minimum. You need two of those guys minimum just to provide some safety and security in there. And then I think you can <clears throat> get weird with Okongwu, Paul Reed, um, Jalen Johnson, and then Marvin Bagley to me I think is just like a smash today. So there you go. There you have it, baby. We just broke the code. That's the skeleton key, whatever you want to say. Or perennial. Remember, dude, shout out the Top Shop blog, baby. It was good to be back. Good to be back. Good to see. Just, you know, I wanted to feel something. I wanted to feel something. Uh, but that's it. Hey, listen, if you're seeing this this morning, come join the NBA bit at 9 a.m. on our main channel. If you're in the So Rare Streets, we'll be back for Live Before Lock at 530. Happy Friday. Have a good weekend. Let's get some fast break dubs. I tried to click the video. I didn't click it, though. Well, the top shot streets are a dangerous place, so we